I actually like mirror matches, and I got the tweet pulled up here as a uh, Mr. Uh, Richard Wynn, who's a prolific uh, player in the fighting game community. He was uh, running amok in Marvel Infinite when it first came out, um, and he had it. He posted the picture. It says the main reason people don't like mirror matches is because it's the match where their ego was hurt the most when losing, but no one will admit this with the Lisa Simpson uh, picture. And I agree with that wholeheartedly. Um, I've experienced this a lot in Strive so far. I've uh, been maining Faust a lot. I uh, just recently switched, not technically switched over, but I just recently added Kai to my roster. And I played a few Faust before. Um, you rarely run into the character. And when you beat people, and this has just been in like games in general, um, but specifically since Strive is that I've, I've experienced this recently with this game. People get really, like, their ego is hurt. If you they lose to you, they feel like, there's no way I'm a, I'm, a, I'm better with this character than this person. And I feel like we all have a little bit of that in us, that mindset. But um, I like mirror matches because you get to learn about the character more. Yeah, if you're good at playing the character and you're good at using the character and using it against other people that don't really maybe not know, they might not know your character that well or whatever, especially if it's an obscure character. Um, it's good, but it's like, can you deal with what your character can do? Do you know your character ins and outs as much as you think you do? Because the first thing that will happen is you think like, well, I'm never going to run into this character to fight him anyway. And then you have to, you know, go to a tournament and fight your own character. And you're like, well, I guess maybe I should have been kind of like trying to see how to get around my own character. Um, yeah, people like they take it offense, man. You can kind of see it in people's play style. They, they'll play and you'll beat them. And then all of a sudden, the next match, they're just like super hyper aggressive. It's like, oh, their ego is hurt, huh? And I mean, it's cool. I guess it's, it's you know, it's just, it's human nature to want to be, I guess, if I'm using the character, I know mine is better than yours. There's no way. But sometimes you just have, maybe maybe there's something that you're just not learning or paying attention to to learn. Maybe you just got to notice, oh, he's doing this certain thing or he's doing that thing and I should be doing this. And if you, you know, start to recognize those things, you'll be better for it. But if you don't, it's just going to be like, all right, you know, um, but yeah, I, I think people, they, their egos get hurt. But I, I like mirror matches because it just shows me like where my deficiencies might be at. And I might learn something that they might know that I don't know. But you mean, I might bro, know. I already know it all. I ain't got to learn nothing. <laughs> I mean, hey, that, you might know a lot, but there could be something that you just might learn. Um, there's been a lot of cases where I have mirror matches. Oh, you can do that. Oh, you can do that. Oh, I'm going to use that. So, and you might teach them something. Like, oh, I didn't know you could do that. So I just think you should look at it um, as more of a learning process instead of like, well, I, mine is better than yours because you had that mentality. You're not going to be able to see anything that you you're, that you're doing that might be detrimental to your gameplay um, and you're not going to be able to learn anything. So I just say, like, kind of put your ego to the side and try to look at a, a mirror match as a way to learn something and possibly teach something because you never know. You might be there one tournament where you think, well, I got this. I ain't going to never run into my character. And then you run into your character and you be like, dang. I might get exposed. So just be open minded to that, you know, the whole process of a mirror match. So yeah, I, I like mirror matches. Uh personally, I don't particularly mind uh mirror matches. I am kind of I'm with you on that one, uh, Mr. Game and Lift, about like like whenever a mirror match comes up, uh I usually think, okay, so this person plays like like right now, like I'm playing like Guilty Gear Strive, and then somebody jumps up and they're like, okay, they're playing Nagori Yuki. And I'm like, okay, great. What can I learn from this guy? What is what is he doing that I'm not doing? Like there, there's a combo that this one Nagori Yuki I played a while ago did, and I still need to go back and watch the replay to actually understand what exactly he was doing. But I think, um, yeah, like it's it's really nice to kind of like see what other people's because one one thing when um me and my I never actually I don't remember where this quote comes from or who actually said it, but my brothers would always be like, okay, well you know like the they say online that no two Venom players play 100 exactly the same, like from in Guilty Gear. And, you know, because like everybody has like their different takes on how Venom should be played. Like some people kind of like playing them long range, some people playing them close range, uh, rush down. You know, some people might be doing like a kind of a, uh, a uh, combination of uh, a combination of both. It's, it's 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 really interesting to see what how everybody you know has their own takes on how each game should be played. I mean, not each game, but each, but each character should be played. So the best thing is to see what 
what kind of how like somebody else is approaching your character like i remember i was playing like that same nagoro yuki and what he did was is he teleported up and he just grabbed me he did like the fukio and just, and just grabbed me like not even the command grab like the universe or world of blood but they just tell, did a normal grab and i was like wow you know what i never thought to just do that i almost always 100 percent go for the uh what would you call that the um the uh command grab i almost always go for the command grab it, either the command grab or i can extend the combo or i'll do like the uh quarter circle back and hard slash move and then teleport out you know and then try to do it again or something like that like i'm always trying to i'm always trying to do that but i never thought oh yeah let me just fukio up to them and then just normal grab them um so then there was that there's like there, there's just like combos where you're just like hey you know what like i could um incorporate that into my uh, into my play style now the thing about it is though but there's also the 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 situation where you do lose and there is going to be a a tiny sting i think you know in any situation where you're playing somebody who's playing the same character as you you're going to feel a little bit of a sting because you know your pride's going to take a little bit of a hit because it's like oh well i guess i mean that means that i'm not the better pro player for this character right now like you got when you when you think about okay i'm i'm losing think about when when you lose you got to think about i'm losing right now not like i'm i've lost and i'm going to keep losing you're losing you lost that match and you're losing right now but that's not necessarily what we would call a uh, a, a prediction or of uh, what's going to come in the future it's more of the that's just the current situation what you got to what, what you got to do is like you know you got to start watching replays and see what did that person do that you didn't do what did they do better that you did like what is what were you guys doing that was the same that they might have been actually doing better than you you know you just got to take take that into consideration and like put pride to the side and focus on getting um being a better player because when it, when it comes down when you start taking out the pride factor when you take the pride factor out of playing fighting games you'll find that number one that you'll enjoy it a lot more but number two that you'll learn a lot more a lot faster if um you focus on you know the learning experience and the journey as opposed to like whether or not i get this w like don't don't fuck because the dope like one one this guy uh jason jason fung that I, I was playing with um i used to play tech and seven with on um pc and he would be like wins are deceptive and he's and he's right wins can be very deceptive because uh, okay i won the match but if you didn't learn anything and you didn't become necessarily like if you didn't become better or if you're not if you like if sometimes if you win a match you're kind of like, oh, well, I don't need to go back and look at that lap match I won because I won that match. But you might have made some mistakes that they didn't capitalize on. So, but you think, oh, I'm so good. I won that match. And that's that's in the books. We don't need to think about that anymore. So just, just consider that, you know, consider that every match is a chance to learn and especially matches where mirror matches are, uh, where mirror matches. So yeah, I would think like, yeah, I enjoy, I don't, I wouldn't say I enjoy mirror matches, but I do I do appreciate the um, the uh, the what's called the educational value of a mirror match.